Welcome back, everyone. My name is Eltamar, and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Grim Dawn. Where we left off last time, we were exploring the Broken Hills, and we we're headed over to the next area. If we take a look at our map, it's over this way. I think it's called the Highlands or something. The Barren Highlands, that's what it's called. Uh, we're going to head there right now. I also turned it up to Veteran Difficulty, as someone mentioned. We were playing on Kids Mode. You know what, let's try it out, see what it's all like. Oh yeah, things have way more life. And also apparently get a 10% um, experience gain. So we'll see how it goes. Worst case, we turn it back down. No problem. We're still using our very similar sword and nothing really else has changed about our character. Do we have loot to go through? Not really, no. Our uh, magic missile, what's it called? Replicating missile? Benetti's replicating missile is getting pretty good, I have to say. Oops. Things aren't that much tougher on a veteran. They're like, these have like maybe 900 more hit points. Which I guess is one more attack worth. Alright, well, let's see what else we can do. We need to get to this... area. So many harpies. Oh, we have a mini boss. Let's see how tough this is. Rot main the disease. He's not a mini boss. He's a... champion mob. I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah. Why is... Oh. Alt was stuck on. There's also Void Talon, who is a kind of mean buzzard. No good loot, though. We're just continuing on. Everything here is level 35, so it is level appropriate. We are level 35 as well. And there's the Highlands coming up. How did you not die? There we go. I thought he would die from the electricity, or the electrocution slash fire slash whatever, whatever other dot type things we put on people. He did not. He decided that wasn't his fate. And just stayed alive. Annoyingly. There's another champion mob, Dread Tusk, the Hunter's Bane, and another, another one. That's a... Okay, we're gonna figure out what that Kalistorian gavel is. Looks like a hammer of some sort. Uh, fire, lightning, burn, electrocute, damage converted to lightning damage, health, offensive ability, and plus four to conversion. Not sure who uses that one, uh, who would use that one personally, but oh well. I don't think it's a great weapon for us, compared to what we're currently using anyways. We'll check it out though, it's worth looking at at least. So many more harpies. How many kids did they have that turned into these horrible monsters? Because they have lots of them. Alright, so let's take a look here. Uh, 2805. And we need a book. This is really the only one we have currently. Oh, we can't even use it. Why? Oh, level 36. Um, do we have any other books? No. Do we have any other offhands? No. Okay. Well, then there's literally nothing we can do about that at the moment. We'll take a look later. We do have some items in our inventory we should look at at some point. Oh, we do have this offhand. Okay, let's try that out. 22... 21... Oops. 2178... 2242 at the most. Much more energy regeneration that way, but still, it's not even remotely close to the same amount of damage. It would be quite a damage loss if we did that. Elsa's here. Watch your back. 
trust you don't no one. You don't smell like one of Cronley's gang. Cronley's gang. Are you from another... Or are you another from Devil's Crossing, then? Your name is Elsa. Then a mutual friend is looking for you. I can only assume you, ne you mean Mornay. Idiot nearly got me killed in old Arcovia. Bandits got us in the night dragged to his damn fire. Or drawn to his damn fire. They tied me up and dragged me back to their camp, probably to share me with the rest of their gang. Shame for them, they weren't very good at tying knots. I slit their throats while they slept and made off on my own. Why didn't you return to Mornay? Well, I thought he was dead, but knowing he's back in Devil Crossing makes me even less inclined to return. He's not a bad man, but I can't stand to have him fawning over me like a replacement for his dead wife. He believes there's some great romance between us and refuses to accept I have no such feelings. Should I even tell him you're alive? It might be better if he believes me dead. The last thing I need is some lovesick fool pursuing me through this hellish world. What do you mean by another from Devil's Crossing? I encountered another survivor from Devil's Crossing just recently who convinced me that Homestead was a place where I could help make a difference. I never got a name, but he cooked a fine meal and told me many re remarkable stories about political intrigues in the time of the Empire. Then he set off by himself. So you're headed to Homestead. Why did you join him? He just got up in the dark of night, told me he was heading on. He had urgent business in Homestead. I warned him that it would be wise to wait out the or wait while the trolls and ethereals fight it out in Smuggler's Pass. But he said he could pass unseen between them if he was alone. It sounds crazy to me, but he was a likable fellow. I hope he fared better than I expect. Well, you're always welcome back in Devil's Crossing. Thanks, but I have no plans to return there. I'd rather find my fate out on the open road. What can you tell me of the area? I can tell you it's swarming with trolls and harpies, and that your best bet would be to leave whatever way you got here. I was headed for Smuggler's Pass, which leads through the mountains, but found it's become a battleground between troll tribes and ethereals. If you're not familiar with trolls and their ilk, they have a perverse predilection to abduct and keep humans as mates. That explains the half-trolls. That's not the fate I have planned for myself, nor is possession. So I'm biding my time, looking for another way through. Take it you have some experience with trolls. I'm not sure how you meant that, but in either case, no, I've never seen a troll until after the grim dawn. Just heard the odd tales of travelers gone missing or abductions from villages in the mountains. Apparently there were a lot more of them living up in these remote parts than anyone realized. In some folklore, trolls are a primitive ancestor of humankind that never advanced beyond their bestial impulses. Others say they're the terrible result of generations of inbreeding among small mountain tribes. They're temperamental, greedy, and extremely violent, which is enough cunning to be dangerous. Okay, thanks. So Elsa is alive and well and killed a bunch of her captors. She also seems fairly well adjusted despite the fact that she was kidnapped and probably had to do unfortunate things to stay alive until she could kill her captors. So yeah, she seems like she's doing fine. We're gonna tell the guy that she that he is that she is dead. Also these things hit really hard. Whatever those sniper guys are, they're shooting pretty Oh god we're gonna die. Because we're slowed and this is very painful. Uh run Healing potion! Freeze everything! Line them up. And we're stuck. And we need cold. Alright, perfect. This should be fine. Can't do that yet. No, don't run away. I wasn't done with you yet. Come back. Hey, Astral Leg Wraps. That's neat. Oh, they heal fast. Okay, so we need to kill them quick. An ancient heart. I don't know what that does either. The astral leg wraps might actually be really good for us, though. Let's take a quick peek. Uh, so they are better in terms of armor by two, which is not really all that impressive. Uh, more lightning damage, more aether damage, but less other elemental damage. A bunch of health, but I don't know if it's more than what we currently have, but a lot of elemental resistance. Less energy, though. Let's take a look. So what's our damage? 2805... 2764, so less damage, less regeneration, but where's our defensive modifiers? Ha, defense. Hmm. Doesn't show us what our. It's gotta be in one of these things somewhere. Even the defenses go down, I guess. Oh no, the defenses go way up. Or no, they, they go down. So, all in all, those pants aren't very good. I'm also going to put some more hit points into our 
thing. And how are we doing for a level? We're about 20% of the way in. Another champion, another two champions. And we're, oh, you know what we don't have? Our bird. These guys are quick. We'll just stand and kill this one. Then we'll stand and kill the other one because it's already here too. Food ration, relic terror, some other random junk. Alright, so we killed two more champions. I'm not sure if there's just more champions in the zone in general or if veteran made them made there be more champions, so. Not entirely sure which way that's going. When you get a good lineup with a missile and it pierces them all, oh, so good. Oh, we are very nearly out of mana. Let's use a potion. I'm sure we can buy them somewhere, because I don't think we have infinite energy potions like we do health potions right now. We have 99 plus health potions. We'll buy some later if we need to. Um, we missed a spot down there. Before we go too far forward. There might even be like a little area. Oh. Okay, so it wasn't that exciting of a space. Alright. Well, let's continue on up here then, I guess. We need to find Smuggler's Pass. We only have the one quest currently. I guess we have to tell him about Elsa, or not about Elsa. We can just say we found her body or something, probably. devotion points now that I think about this no We're working on quill we need to get the last quill 24% elemental damage 5% energy and 2% of defensive ability will be really nice if we can get it it's a lot of extra damage since almost all of our damage is elemental and ethereal or aether damage or whatever you want to call it there's a brute here not anymore but there was a brute there I think we need more energy re regeneration at some point. Eventually this sword is going to be outclassed by something and then we'll finally be able to get more energy. Oh god, that hurts. Jeez, those hunters. Just that first round of shots. Like half of our life. Also, I'm stuck. There we go. I think we have to run in and freeze them, or like, we need something that deflects range attacks. I think there's a spell that does that. Alright, let's take a quick look at our skill. Oops, that time I'm gonna hit, but whatever. Absorbs all manner of attack and reflects them back. That's only a three second duration, it's a very quick spell. Nope. I mean, that's pretty cool. And that's actually a really useful ability, Mental Alacrity. I should probably get at least one point into that. I wonder if I need lots of points into Mental... I'm gonna guess I need a lot of points into Mental Alacrity because we're gonna be using a lot of mana or a lot of energy. And then I'm guessing later on in the game, 
uh, things are going to have just so much health that we're going to need just tons of damage. So I'm going to guess we're going to dump points into there. What about Fabric of Reality? What's that? That's Aether Damage, Chaos Damage, Damage to Ethereals, Aether Corruptions, and Chthonics. Aether Damage, Chaos. So it's very important as well. So we're going to be putting points into that. So we need Fabric of Reality, Mental Alacrity. What is this? Inner Focus. Don't think we need Inner Focus that much. It's just Spirit and Offensive Ability. Arcane Will. We're going to put more points into that probably because that Energy Regeneration is important. Nullification. Not really sure about that one. What's this? Reckless power. Turn your body into a conduit of the aether, manifesting terrifying, ar terrifying arcane energies for your mortal form that ignite the air and send ripples to reality. So it's a toggleable ability, and you can only have one exclusive skill at a time. It adds just tons of damage. Okay, that's pretty good. Devastation I know we're going to be using. I don't think we're using the Albrecht's aether ray. What about Star Pact? I wonder which is better between Reckless Power... Well, what's this do? Fire and Aether Damage. So that's Fire Aether Damage. So these two pair up together. But I think Bolt pairs up with Star Pact. Oh well, we'll figure that out later. We can always respit. We can always try them and see which one gives the better, bo or better bonus to damage. Nothing stopping us. There's a star up ahead. Which is possibly good? Oh, it's a mine entrance. Okay. So it's okay. I like mines. They're kind of nice and easy to travel through. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. All the loading screens. Alright, so there's a rift gate here. Which is nice. So those hunters hit like freight trains. We gotta be careful for them. What the hell are those? I'm just gonna beat some things up for fun. Alright, uh, let's go this way. Why not? So there are Ember Guards fighting Mistborn. There's a lot of Ethereals in here. Flesh Warped Butcher. And there's just trolls around as well. And my dog being very annoying and barky, of course. Because why not? It's only 6 in the morning. I hear, like, wasps. I'm going to pause for one sec here. Alrighty, let's continue on. A glyphed skull of the void. Maybe that's level appropriate, unlike some of the other items we have. Why can't I hit that guy? Oh, he's behind a stupid wagon. There's a bunch of ethereal energy around, too. Alright, let's take a look at this. Ooh, it's awful. This one, however, is that's a lot of offhand damage. Or elemental damage. Okay, this might actually be a good combination. Let's take a look here. So we got this mace. This might actually give us the energy regeneration we're hoping for. With not too much loss of damage. So 2805 is our max damage on that one. 2391. But we gain a lot of energy stuff. I'm going to try it out. I mean, we do lose, lose 500 damage, which is a lot of damage, admittedly. What does this do? Does this hurt to walk on? It does. So that's a trap. Let's go the other way. If the damage loss is too much for our energy absorption difference, or energy regeneration difference, we'll just switch back. It seems to do a hell of a lot less damage. 1700 versus... I think we're doing like 2100 before. That's 500 damage difference. A hit. That being said, our energy regenerates almost instantly. Which is nice. So... Uh, we'll, we'll keep trying it out for a little bit longer.
I mean, we can still kill things with relative ease. We did get for or slowed or poisoned or something. We do way less damage. Okay, so we're at 1700 to hit. Give or take. Once we get through the resistances. And then let's check this out. Just need to find a group to kill. 2200 damage, yeah. That skill's not ready. Our energy regeneration is not nearly as good, but that extra damage is quite substantial for killing a big group quickly. Oh, that guy hits hard. I was kind of hoping the freeze would kill him. That is not the case. Alright, he's dead. I wish we had a main hand that would give as much damage as this two-hander, but then also have the energy regeneration of a main hand offhand. Combination. I'm sure we'll find something later on in the game that'll be just as good. Or better. We're also almost up a level. Kind of. Okay, let's kill all of the gunners first. They're the only real ones I'm worried about. I exploded into aether. And then literally shattered. So this is... One of these was the death path. I'm not sure which one it was. I think it might have been this one. But there are other paths. I don't really want to walk through the aether trap area. If we have to, we will, but I prefer not to. So those are actual trolls. You can tell by the way they are. Let's see if we can walk backwards a little bit. Not into the aether area, but just up into this. Okay, we've been up here. This is not the aether area. Which means that that's the aether area over here. And we may have to run through it. Because I think we're running out of space in this mine to go. Which is going to suck. I wonder if there's crystals or something we can blow up to get rid of the trap. I'm curious now. But we'll deal with that in a minute. First of all, we're going to kill more. Oh, stop with your guns. They hit so hard. It's not fair. He said murdering like an entire crew of them in three seconds. This looks like it's an interesting way to go. That doesn't involve aether death. There's lots of guys. I want to also find a shrine because I want another devotion point. It's important. So that we can finish up that tree, the quill. That sweet elemental damage. Oh, this is a boss. Do that yet. I see. Doesn't help we keep missing our attacks either. He's definitely immune to being frozen. No, let's not stand near him. Ah, oh, stop. How is a stupid pig capable of blocking all of our attacks? Nope. Run, 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 run. Of course we hit... Something he can walk right through blocks all of our damage. He's down to about half health, a little less than half. We're slowed, that's bad. I we'll just need to move a little. Down to about a third damage, or, th or third of life. Less than a quarter. Stupid pig blocked our attack again. He is faster now, because he's pissed off, and we are missing...
all of our attacks. Okay. He should die before he reaches us. Maybe. Nope, we're moving. Hey, we killed him. He's dead. Bindings of Bismil. And two new weapons. A crusher and some other weapon. Where does this go? I mean, we killed him. Don't get me wrong. But does this lead out? And if it does lead out, should we go back the other way and try to do the Aether Trap to see where it goes? I mean, we do have a potion. We can just heal on our way through. And I think we should. Death is only the beginning, you say. How's it vary the mummy? The Brendan Fraser version. I'm gonna put a thing here. A rift. I'm gonna go try the other side. No promises I'm gonna survive. But we'll try it out and see what happens. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it's not too terrible. So I'm gonna move my microphone just a tiny bit. I feel it's a little bit too close uh, to my mouth. Maybe not. It's kind of hard to tell. It's early. I'm not exactly fully awake yet. But we did get a new uh, offhand. The Occultist's Overseer Eye of Celerity. It's a lot of electrocute damage. Some spirit casting stuff. Gives to blood burst. We're stuck on a... What am I stuck on? There we go. Let us go down all the way. Check the Aether thing. We have some inventory room left in case we find some loot. We have about 23, 22% of the way to level. I don't know, maybe there's like a shrine at the end of it, who knows? I'm very curious. We're gonna have to be fast though, because I have a feeling it's gonna be really shitty to run through there. We'll just go as quick as possible. How far do you think this goes? Okay, so we gotta run faster. There's nothing here. Well, that's just BS. Well, we made it at least. There's still flies around here, like a lot of them. All right, well, let's just go like this and then go like that. And we go into here. And we are finally free. We are now in Dead Man's Gulch. We just caught a bullet to the face. There's more Aether Corruption here. Doing damage. Blighting the land. Maybe it's the Aether Corruption that makes that weird wasp sound. Who knows. There's a whole lot of trolls here though. Or maybe there's just wasps around in general. Or flies, whatever they are. Also, if another shrine would show up, that would be pretty cool. And another rift. Dead Man's Gulch Rift. Surrounded by all of the ethereal corruption. Just so much corruption everywhere. I beat him to death with the sword. That's the way you should do things in life sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta beat things to death with the sword. It's just the way of the world. Especially this world. This world is very war-centric. There's a large encampment up here, it looks like. With a quest! And some random people. Ulgrim. Well, if it isn't my old friend from Devil's Crossing. I had a feeling you'd be making your way through here. 
Holger, what are you doing out here? I haven't been entirely honest with you. I'm not a chef, not by profession anyway, although maybe that would have been a better path. As it is, I'm an assassin and former first blade of the Aralon Emperor. It's a title I've not always been proud to bear, as my line of work has not always been virtuous. But I dealt with threats to the Empire. Now all of humanity is threatened by foes more deadly than anything we've faced before. It is, however, a time when I can put my talents to a more noble purpose. You haven't been entirely forthright with me either, Taken, but don't worry. I'm the keeper of many secrets. Why'd you join me in Devil's Crossing only to leave again? My job was to scout the countryside, get bearings on enemy strongholds, and investigate weaknesses. Your mention of people surviving out in Devil's Crossing was intriguing, so I wanted to see it for myself. Having learned everything I could about the area, I felt it was time to return to my men in Homestead. Your men? Can't say I like it any more than they do, but I am working alongside the Black Legion. They are all that remain of the Imperium's forces. What did you call me? It taken. Well, formerly so, if we get down to semantics. The Ethereal left you just before you hanged it to death. Am I not correct? How do you know all this? My sources are quite good, if I say so myself. But you trusted me. And now, I shall trust you. The first blade of the Emperor? Look, I'm sure you have many questions, but now is not the time. We need to get these people to Homestead. So how can I help here? I came upon these refugees on my way through Smuggler's Pass. They were trapped and would soon have become food or entertainment for the trolls. I had to do something. Now we're stuck out here, caught in the midst of a battle between the trolls and the ethereal forces. Mm. The tunnel to Homestead is blocked by aether fire, and the only option now is a passage through the mountain deeps. It is a foul place at the bottom of the world infested with all manner of terrible things that hate the sun. There is no way these people would survive down there. In Devil's Crossing, I saw that you had the power to open rifts. I need you to fight your way to Homestead, secure a rift, and come back for us. So please, help these people. Below is an entrance to the deeps. From there, you'll exit onto the dusty road that will lead you into Homestead. Be swift. I'm not sure how much longer I can hold off the trolls before they come in force. I'll find a way to Homestead. So we have to go down somewhere. Hopefully not that Aether Fire Path, because that is... Oh, it's definitely the Aether Fire Path. I wonder if we kill the crystals if it goes away? I don't think so, though. Let's look around. Oh, there's literally nothing else to look around at. We just have to run through the Aether Fire. Oh, this is going to suck. Alright, let's run. Potion. We can jump off to the side here, apparently. Wonder what's over here. Manticores. I always love Manticores. I thought they were a really cool monster. These aren't the Manticores from my childhood, but they're, they're still very cool looking. More Manticores. I just want to gain a level. We're very close. There are two things I desperately want. A level and a shrine. A desecrate or some sort of shrine that I can get a devotion point out of. Looks like everything's dead here. There's clearly more exploration and a ton more aether fire over there. I wonder if we get, like, eventually get a resistance to Aether Fire. There's a marked rock here. Alright, we have to make the rest of the journey. We're about half health right now, which is not ideal. Half, half constitution, vitality, whatever you want to call it. Oh, this sucks to run through. We're not going to make it. We're going to make it. can't open that. Well, how do I get through there, then? Maybe I'm supposed to go that way. Well, if I went the wrong way, that would be silly. And I think I did. Well, it was worth the exploration. It is definitely blocked off the... Oh, there's another quest here. 
I'm sorry for eavesdropping, but I couldn't help overhear that you'll be going through the mountain deeps. That's right, why do you ask? You see, my sister Dahlia got fed up with waiting while I lay here with a gaping wound in my side. Despite Ulgrim's insistence that she stay, Dahlia set out into the depths of her own in search of rescue and medical supplies. It's been over a day now, and I'm afraid something must have happened. Would you please look for her? I fear the worst. Sure. I can also do that. I think we go down... Oh, the cave entrance is right there. Literally right there. We went through a death trap to try and... Get through the Aether Fire. And unfortunately it's sealed. So that sucks. This is such a lovely looking area. Look at all the bioluminescent mushrooms. Oh, spiders and trolls. Ooh, that hurt. Let's just stand back and just open fire into the crowd. Don't quote me on that. What's that weapon we just picked up? Oh, I was kind of hoping it would be a really good caster dagger, but... I mean, it is for a different... Well, it's not really good, but it's probably okay for some other class. Just not us. We just need to sell things soon. That's a grub? If that's a grub, what's the full-sized whatever creature that is going to be like? It's going to be a terrifying experience. It's going to look like the Void Woken Worm from Divinity Original Sin 2. Also, I could use some Vital Essence if anyone wanted to drop some. Not saying you have to, but it would be nice. I love the, mush the uh, bioluminescent things in here. They're so pretty. I'd love to- oh, that's a boss. We may die here. We should probably actually, before we die, put down one of those. Oh crap, this is a dead end. Turn around, go the other way. Ow, stop that. Okay, we're just gonna dump around the corner here and then go boom! Stupid things get out of my way. Oh, we'll be fine, I think. As long as we don't do anything stupid, we should win, and we might even gain a level. It's the worst when they're like at the bottom of the screen because we have technically less view on the bottom of the screen. Oh crap, we're, we're actually frozen here. And it died. And I think it has a grand spoil thing to blow up. And we gained a level. Everything worked out pretty well. We're just going for the poison to dissipate a little. What did we get? No, oh, that was entirely garbage. I'm a little bit disappointed, but let's gain a level. Uh, we're gonna grab w at least one point into mental alacrity. Oh my god, it actually, like, really ramps up your energy. We automatically jump to level 3, which is pretty good. And we'll get some more proliferation, I think? Well, we'll do 1-1-1. One, one, one. There we go. Yes. Any points? No. We only got 13 points so far. I really want to get this last quill. What else are we supposed to go on? Just kind of curious. That's a hawk. That's a raven. I think ravens are supposed to be good for us too. Uh, lightning damage, energy regeneration, spirit, and offensive ability. We'll maybe do that one last. It's this one. Scholar's light. Elemental damage is pretty good. Uh, physique defensive, elemental resistance. Okay. Elemental. So this one's good too. We should probably do this one at some point pretty soon. So we'll do quill, scholar's light for more elemental damage. I'm seeing the ones that we have unlocked first. Uh, defensive pierce resistance. Defensive ability. Maybe? I don't know. What's the owl? That's a lot of good debuffs. Okay. So cutting spirit, elemental resistance, a ton of increased duration to burn damage and electrocute and all that stuff, and then plus 30% to all damage? Damn, that's pretty good. Alright, maybe the owl at some point too. 
Dahlia Taverin has not survived the dangers of the mountain deeps. She is dead. And there's a shrine. So, here we go. Oh crap, we got stuck in the corner. These guys are very fast and do a weird freezy attack, which is annoying. We're gonna maybe be in trouble here. Why are they so quick? We are in some trouble. They hit very hard and they move very fast and we're stuck in the corner again. As long as we can kill one we'll be okay. Can't do that yet. Okay, let's just attack. Alright. This is fine. I can't do that yet. The fact that they're mean to freeze is kind of very irritating, but we've almost killed it. Okay, that one's dead. Oops, we're sending a death. Ah, things that drop thingies on the ground are annoying. Let's go get our body back. Luckily, we dropped that rift not long ago. Inventory is full. Oh no, we're full. Oh, we're not actually full. We just have to play Tetris a little bit. And we have to go finish off the shrine. There should be like two left there? Yeah. Where's my ready. bird? Go bird, go! How the hell? Oh, it's stuck on a wall. I see. We got an ancient heart from it. Watcher of- oh, and there's a bunch of loot here. Watcher of the frozen north. A shield, which gives flash freeze. And... A bunch of gold damage. And Nightblade abilities, which is good for Nightblades, but bad for us. This is all Nightblade stuff. Anyways, we're going to have to sell things and come back. What about this ring, though? Health? Health regeneration, health regeneration, bleeding resistance, and mend flesh. It's way better than our current one ring there. Not the elemental damage one, because that one's awesome. That one? Alright, so now we're 3300 health, and we have a bunch more hit point regeneration. Alright, let's quickly go back to town. Uh, we're gonna have to sell some stuff. And then we'll continue on. Actually, I think we're out of time, so we're gonna end the video here. In the next video, we'll continue on our way. Uh, we're gonna do it right away here, so there's not gonna be a big pause between recordings. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.